Morning, 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 ladies and gentlemen. Things are crazy. Things are crazy. You know, I'm reading an article. I'm reading an article yesterday. It is GMO Tuesday, by the way. GMO Tuesday. Hello, hello. Yes, it is. Uh, uh, check this out. I'm reading an article, and, and there's a paragraph in it that says this. When glyphosate sprayed on genetically engineered crops to withstand the chemical. Let that sink in. When glyphosate sprayed on genetically engineered crops designed to withstand the chemical, for example, the process inadvertently selects, the process inadvertently selects, the process inadvertently selects for weeds that will withstand glyphosate as well. I'll read that so it flows. When glyphosate sprayed on genetically engineered crops to withstand said chemical, for example, the process inadvertently selects for weeds that will withstand as well. <sighs> when I stop to think about that, I'm like, you know, I've heard something very similar to that in the past. Where have I heard it? Where have I heard it? Where have I heard it? I walked around for about three hours, and then it hit me. And then it hit me. Mrs. Holmes, my third grade teacher, taught me that in science, in earth science in the third grade. Mrs. Holmes taught me that. She, and how she taught me this right here was we had that funny picture of the fish swimming in the water, and then the fish He's walking on four legs like a little alligator or something. And then the fish kind of got standing up and he got long arms. He got long arms and he got a monkey looking body. And then a couple more monkey looking bodies go by and then there's a man walking around. They call it evolution. Evolution! Something that our regulators that are supposed to be protecting us and protecting our food supply have conveniently ignored, just like the scientists at Monsanto. And let's make no mistake about the scientists at Monsanto, ladies and gentlemen. Pecuniary greed at its finest are getting paid a handsome sum of money to lie to us. To lie to us. I'm sorry. I am sorry. But, but, that is evolution at its finest. For whatever reason, Monsanto wants to ignore real science and create science. Uh, uh, and, and if you think I'm kidding, if you think I'm kidding, go look at that drop dead gorgeous cutie pie. Uh, 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 Carrie, Carrie, uh, 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 blah, 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 blah. Carrie Gillum, Carrie Gillum, whitewash. She tells it like it is. She tells you like it is. I'm telling you, links in the description, ladies and gentlemen. And there are a gang of them again today. Where you won't find poison in the food is at Foothill Feet and Mercantile. You need good food for your animals. You need chicken feed, cow feed, pig feed. I don't care what it is. She'll get you the non-GMO and she'll get you certified organic if you want it. Give her a call up there. Shannon at the, the Foothill Feed and Mercantile. Up there, of course, on Geiger Grade. Uh, uh, 1330 Geiger Grade. 775-852-0999. Uh, they get you squared away with that non-GMO and organic, certified organic feed for your critters. You know, you want them healthy too. They deserve to be healthy. They don't deserve uh, uh, this. But we're going we're to get into the animal food here in a bit. I, I, I'm going to talk about that because we're going to talk about the farm bill today. The farm bill. Hmm. The farm bill. This is going to surprise you, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to surprise you. But, but this week, I had 22 more followers. I'm getting close to 1,000. I'm getting close to 1,000 on Twitter. But we all been asking, we all been asking, Mr. President, Mrs. President, hey, Mr. Scott Pruitt at the EPA, you FDA guys, Mr. Sonny Perdue, Mr. Sonny Perdue, please get the poison out of our food. We don't want no poison. We don't need it. We don't want it. None of us want it. Get it out of our food, please, please being very respectful it's the twitter campaign it's it, it's building up ahead of steam it's building up ahead of steam uh, uh <clears throat> but when 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 you stop and think about it and put things in perspective i'm going to talk about a couple petitions going on too we got petitions everywhere to ban glyphosate okay let, let's do these petitions to ban glyphosate but here's the thing about a petition it's online somewhere it's not really in the public face 
Twitter and Facebook. Now, I'm not on Facebook. Uh, I'm all over Twitter, LinkedIn, and some other platforms. But the, the Twitter, Facebook thing, if you learned how to put something together, you're in the public eye. And that's what we do on Twitter every day. We put it out there so everybody can see us asking our president, our first lady, our EPA director, our FDA people, Sonny Perdue over at the USDA, ask them every day, get the poison out of our food. Sooner or later, it's got to work, folks. Sooner or later, it's got to work. It's in the public. It's in the public eye. The attorneys have this information. The farm bill. The farm bill. Before we get to the farm bill, you know, that drop dead gorgeous cutie pie down under on on Bondi Beach, Bondi Radio over there at the Wellness Radio thing they got going on. Sheena Alexandra. Down under in the in the Australia, you know, Australia, Southern Australia, I guess it's there's a northern, eastern, western part of that country, too. That's a pretty good size island out there. But no GMOs in Southern Australia 2025. I'm betting. I'm betting, and it could I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I don't know. But maybe the government of South Australia wants to protect all the pretty girls so they don't end up looking like Hillary Clinton-Santo and that Merkel gal that do the GMO. Could be. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Tune into Bondi Radio. Find out because they got some good stuff going on in their wellness stuff down there in Australia. I'll tell you what. I want to ask you guys something for just a minute. I want to ask you guys what uh, 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 animal feed, animal waste lots, fuel, and processed food all have in common. Think about that for a minute. Animal waste treatment plants, right? Animal waste treatment plants, fuel, animal feed, and processed food. What do they all have in common, ladies and gentlemen? They get subsidized, subsidized by the government, by my, me and you, our taxes subsidize this. I'm sorry, but I don't want GMO stuff going on. I don't want that food. Why do my taxes get to subsidize that crap? It's in the farm bill. It's in the farm bill, the new farm bill. They want to pull that out. 95% of all subsidies... Go to animal waste treatment plants, animal feed, into fuel, into processed foods. Those are four sectors that absolutely do not need help. They don't need any more help. They're making plenty of money, poisoning everybody, ruining the the water, ruining the land, ruining the air. They're making all kinds of money doing this. They don't need to be subsidized. The guy that needs to be subsidized are the guys that are squeezing out the GMO guy, the non-GMO, the organic people at the other end on the farmer's market trying to do farmer's markets. And that's who they're trying to squeeze. That's who Monsanto has been legislating against with all the laws and stuff they do. Isn't it time to ask whom do your elected officials represent, ladies and gentlemen? Whom do your elected officials represent? I don't know. I don't know. I, 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 I mean, it's just crazy to me how this goes on. 95% of all farm subsidies go into that. Why do we need animal waste treatment plants? Because we have 850,000 cows in a 400 square foot barn. That's why. Industrial farming, it's what's created that dead zone down by uh, uh, the mouth of the Mississippi in the Gulf of Mexico down there in Louisiana and Mississippi. Folks, It's that's what's going on in uh, uh it's up to us. We the only way this is going to change it. This has to become. We we have to quit the stupid. Oh, you're black. I'm white. Let's let's have a fight. Crap going on in our society right now, and come together over a common cause. And, and I'm sorry. I'm gonna pick on somebody on Twitter right now. We go back and forth. We go back and forth. We have fun. We have fun. But Global Echo hates Donald Trump. I don't have a problem with Donald Trump. I think he's doing okay. Uh. uh you know, does he, eh, you know, we're all human beings. Uh, of course, he says something stupid every now and then. Eh, he's the president. He's got to say something stupid. He wouldn't be the president, would he? I don't know. I don't know. But Global Echo, Global Echo just wants to bang. Let's offer solutions. And I'm going to ask Global Echo right now. I, you and I have talked. You don't want poison in the food. Neither do I. Neither do I. I don't want poison in the food. 
Carrie Gillum, she don't want poison in the food. Zen Honeycutt, she don't want poison in the food. Come on now. Why can't you ask the president like we all ask the president? Why can't you help come together one, one common cause? I don't think there's a person in this country that wants poison in their food. I honestly do not believe that there is one person in this country that would accept the fact that poison is in their food and that they have to eat it. You don't. Be like Marla Dawn Gates. Be like Paula. Paula Mare. Huh? Paula's Healthy Living. Paula's Healthy Living. They join me. They, they, they ask the president every day, please get the poison out of our food. Marla Dawn Gates, you got the Christmas season coming up. It's that time of year. People start putting that tree up uh, uh, going into the next weekend there. So you got Christmas tree care on that website. Go check it out. Marla Dawn Gates, organic for green living, of course. Uh, uh, uh. And, and, and Paula, she got all this stuff about... Uh, uh, all, all, all the fall winter squashes up and stuff got some great recipes over there go check it out you know the the, the reason uh, the, the, these gals are able to have the products have the articles and stuff on their websites healthy products if they, uh, they're they're buying it is because they support water protection they support pest control and they support soil conservation How do you have that with poisons? Uh, uh, we, 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 we have a real crazy scenario out there because we've been sold a bill of goods with that substantially equivalent garbage, you know. Uh, uh, so uh, uh, we, we, we've actually been sold a bill of goods. You know, re re remember the, let's give you some of this and we'll put a little bit of this and we'll do some stuff. And oh, by the way, we're going to use, because we're doing that, we're going to use less of my number one selling product 17 times more pesticides are being used today than when we got that argument, ladies and gentlemen. And how do we forget the guest of the show? How do we forget our number one guest, Wilcox Organic, Wilcox Organic, Hard Boiled Eggs, number 17, number 17 on the show's guest list. This is week number 17, ladies and gentlemen, on the show's guest list, week number 17, Wilcox Organic, certified organic by Organ Tilth. Big, 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 big thing going on right now. Let's look at this right here. California Ranch Fresh Brand. Did you catch that brand? Did you catch that? Catch that? It's a brand name. I think right on here somewhere, it says, oh, yeah, right there, right underneath that, may include eggs from other states, but it's a California Ranch. It's a California Ranch Fresh. Oh, yeah. And then we have the styrofoam container that has all kinds of stuff, so it has to be California EFS compliant, styrofoam compliant for California. It's not even California eggs. Fullerton, California. It's out of Fullerton, California. And uh, uh, distributed by Lubensky? Luberski. Distributed by Luberski. They're not California eggs. How do we know they're good? How do we know what they are? Labeling. Labeling. Again. Debbie, let me stab my constituents in the back. Stabbing now. Going to give us all kinds of crazy stuff. Because now we get. See, these don't even have that, that, that what you call it on it, man. These we we just get a barcode. We don't get uh, 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 the uh, 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 what you call it website propaganda website. There's no QR code that we're supposed to have on our food. No Q. Oh, that's right. It's voluntary. We don't have to tell you what we're putting in the food. It's voluntary. Thanks to Debbie stabbing now. Let me stab my constituents in the back. Seventeen times more since. 
Michael Taylor gave us substantially equivalent. In the news, GMO news, GMO news. Nigeria is saying no to 90 tons of Argentina corn. Why? GMO. We don't want GMO poison. Argen, uh, uh, Nigeria, uh, uh, kind of a poor country, needs food. Don't want to poison their people. What's up, Mr. President? Ecuador, Ecuador, burning, burning, in public square, burning the soy seeds because they are poisoned. They don't want to grow this stuff. Monsanto wants to become a data company. A data company. I want you to think about this for a minute. They're developing technology to go along. And this is technology stuff that's kind of cool because it's going to coincide and deal with algorithms of the weather patterns and stuff like that. So what are they doing? They buy for $1 billion Climate Corporation, a weather data (laughs) company. So now they're going to have the weather data that they can predict stuff with. Uh, 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 I don't know. Uh, 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 I, I, I don't know. But... Um, it, it would be remote control type. I mean, you could sit on your computer in your office and tell the machines that are driving around your field what to do. Uh, uh, I mean, I, I mean, let's be real. That is a direction things are going. That is a direction things are going to go. Uh, uh, so we have to, um, kind of keep that in mind. I, I, I got to, uh, promote a new gal this week. Her name is Holly. I believe it's Holly Ballantyne. Um, let me see here. Pink Fortitude is the name of what she has going on. Pink F O R T I T U D E. Okay, Pink Fortitude. Let's see what happens here. Images. Uh. But I I I believe the gal's name is Holly Ballantine. Uh. uh uh, awesome stuff. This, this is a, a, a cancer survivor, actually. So go check her website out. It is off the hook. Drop dead gorgeous. Of course, this is one of the followers. She actually joined us uh, on the campaign there. Uh, uh, please get that poison out of our food. But healthy living for real people with real lives. That's the the, the tagline going into uh, 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 the thing there. But there is all kinds of stuff. Hey, and, and I'm telling you what. This girl, gorgeous, gorgeous, uh, uh, Bertone, Holly Bertone, I'm sorry, Holly, B-E-R-T-O-N-E, she, I, I tell you, her smile will light the darkest night up, uh, I mean, you could light the whole universe up with this girl's smile, drop dead gorgeous, she is a cancer survivor, you can find her over there on Twitter, uh, uh, she she uh, speaks uh, in the she's from the Alexandria, Virginia area. Speaks locally, nationally, internationally on business, government, organizations, association, industry events, and I'm telling you, lot of good stuff on this gal's website. As I said, she is a cancer survivor. Uh, I'm guessing that's where Pink Fortitude came from. Uh, uh, How about that, ladies and gentlemen, huh? Changed her life forever. Yes, I could imagine so. Being told you got cancer, that's kind of, especially when they start talking, chopping body parts off. But uh, it, it awesome website. Go check it out. A non-GMO girl. She's all organic. Uh, uh, and again, drop dead gorgeous. Fellas, fellas, come on. I'm staying I'm staying on the non-GMO side of the, the world there, guys. I'm not I'm not gonna venture out. I'm not 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 gonna venture out. Uh uh-uh. but remember, remember, we were supposed to be using less pesticides, and we're using more 17 times more pesticide today than we were using when Michael Taylor gave us we're going to use less pesticides, substantially equivalent. This stuff is all good, and we're going to do it. And this was all to sell a chemical. This ruse, this ruse, this propaganda game by the Monsanto propaganda machine, by the major AMPM, and they have half of mainstream media 
in pocket with them, they're all in lockstep on this GMO issue to sell a chemical, to sell a chemical. This is not to make human life better. It is to profit at their expense. Keep it in mind. Keep it in mind. That's what it is. Cannabis Corner. Hey, we're going to start a little new thing on GMO Tuesday. We're going to have Cannabis Corner. We'll, we'll end the, the, the GMO Tuesday segment with Cannabis Corner. Uh, uh, you got a new company in the, in the cannabis industry. Remember, this is a viable industry now. Of course, I will be talking some... Uh, 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 I'm going to in, interject this into preservation thursday also many of the uh, many of the people i know in property preservation they have a little agriculture background they have a little know-how they want to do a little diversifying is this a way to diversify is it something for you um of course if you're a pothead and you smoke the stuff all the time you may not want to grow the stuff so uh, uh but uh, i'm teasing there of course i am teasing um in Cannabis Corner this week, the big news, worldwide big news. Irish Examiner over in Ireland is reporting, uh, uh, Joyce Fagan uh, of, of the Irish Examiner on November 18th reported the first licensed granted for pain treatment marijuana has in Ireland a license is a prescription over here. That's what we call a prescription in the medical industry. But the first, so the first license or prescription, as we call it over here, has been granted with marijuana for pain treatment. That is huge. That's big. Uh, um, let me see here. It's a three-month license. The guy has a prescription for for three three week or three months. He gets it ninety days, and. Uh, 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 this this is a outpatient uh, uh, treatment. Of course, this gentleman and I, I, I I'm drawing a blank on his name. This is for epilepsy. Okay, they're treating this guy for epilepsy. This person over there. So it is a prescription. Uh, uh, in the United States, in the United States, there's little different processes going on here. If you're developing a business, there's you. Uh, we hear compliance and property preservation all the time, folks. Compliance, compliance, compliance. And I'm going to be talking about this again over there uh, a little bit. Um, because most the, the ways most of the, the businesses are developing in the marijuana, medical marijuana industry, because of how they're developing, folks, there's regulatory commissions because investors are helping develop organizations. So you don't just have to pass a basic business background check. You're going to have to pass regulatory background check too. So if you, uh, if you have money laundering, uh, uh, financial fiduciary crimes in your background, uh, uh, um, I, I'm not sure what else would stop you from a regulatory committee, other kind of crimes. Uh, but I know fiduciary crimes, uh, uh, have you, did you get caught trafficking drugs at a time when marijuana was illegal? Uh, uh, did you get caught laundering money? Did they attach a, la a money laundering on the marijuana charge on you? Did you, uh, uh, or perhaps even, uh, uh, you are inadvertently helping somebody and you didn't know it. Uh, uh, that, that's the kind of stuff they're going to be looking for. I, I talked with somebody on the regulatory end of it. And, and, and with the regulatory end, their big concern from a regulatory standpoint is fiduciary crimes, IRS tax evasions, bankruptcies, anything that would fall into a fiduciary look-see for you to be in compliance with uh, uh, industry regulations. Remember... Remember, just because it's legal here may not make it legal over there in the respect it's legal in one state. There's a lot a lot of stuff that has to be worked out still uh, as far as are we going to do this for recreation? Is, you know, these guys just want to go buy it and uh, uh, like they do a six pack of beer. You want to buy a couple joints or whatever. I don't know how, how it all works. I haven't, haven't been in a dispensary, but I do know they sell edibles. I do know they sell uh, uh, 
amounts of marijuana. I do know they sell marijuana cigarettes, uh, a spliff, a joint, whatever you want to call them, um, a, a hooter. Uh, they, uh, you know, a marijuana cigarette, they got a lot of slang terms too, huh? But uh, uh, the, the deal, uh, if you're developing a business, you, you, you don't just have to go and do a regular standard background check. You also have to pass a regulatory background check. Um, I, I'm kind of thinking that if you, I don't know, you know, got a real estate license, you probably, uh, or if you're going to be a day trader or something, you got to do some regulatory background checks too and that kind of a business. So, but that's a direction the, the, the marijuana industry is going. Not only will you need to pass whatever compliance for your state and local area, you're going to have to deal with regulatory commission also because these businesses are being funded by investors. Uh, uh, people who, you know, initial, what do they call that? Uh, 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 initial price option or something, an IPO. Uh, uh, but again, again, an epileptic patient in Ireland. This is big, big, big news, not just for Ireland and Europe, for the world, because it, it it's doing something we all know marijuana helps pain i and there's a big push right now if you think uh, uh marijuana might help uh, uh this opioid problem I, i'll tell you right now when i broke my back this is what i talked to my neurosurgeon about when i broke my back the neurosurgeon you know he told me he goes you need to be careful with this i said well you know what i kind of got an issue with this kind of pill i know what they're about and, and i would prefer I, I said look you're the doctor you get to make this call. I said, every now and then I smoke a little bit of marijuana. It helps me go to sleep. It helps me relax. He goes, and he stopped me right there in the middle of my sentence. He said, hey, that's going to be better for you than anything I can prescribe. He goes, that is, is. so the, the doctor didn't have a problem with me using marijuana. And I used it because they gave me, I mean, you, you go in with a broken back, boom, they do you right there they they pop you with the uh, uh uh what was it a dilata they gave me uh, uh you know and i'm like uh, you know i come home with a, a bottle of pills and, and just like they're saying on the news they gave me like 30 pills well for that particular thing uh you know i about the first four or five days because you're taking them about every four hours but when i got to like the last 10 of these things i i started just doing one a day at nighttime to help me sleep and, and i discussed that with the doctor and he says you know he goes you're going to be better using marijuana for pain control than any kind of opiate out there he goes it's and he told me it's far more safer he goes i understand there's a legal issue he goes but from a, a medical perspective that is going to be safer than if you did the op opiates uh, uh because then you gotta you know and, and then of course i asked him you know hey is Am I putting this thing on wrong, man? Because I'm getting these really, really, you know, obnoxious pains, you know, down here in my ribs. And he goes, oh, no, 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 no. You, you got that on right, man. That's the constipation the opiates are. Oh, I forgot about that part, too. Yeah. Opiates got a lot of bad, bad effects. Uh, uh, um, with, with, the, with the marijuana, it's a little, little different. You get a little numb. You get a little relaxed. And the, the pain is not quite bad. It's tolerable. It's manageable, as they say. So I, I, we're, we're going to see a lot more coming on in the medical marijuana industry, ladies and gentlemen. My big concern, because there's scuttlebutt right now. Monsanto wants to get in there. And you know what they can do with that stuff, man. They can, uh, I, I mean, they just said uh, somebody's baby just OD'd on marijuana. I, I could see a small child getting a hold of something and going to sleep for a while. Uh, some of this stuff, folks, you have to be very cognizant of it. it uh, you have to be aware. It is kind of, it, 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 even though it's organic, it's, it's a medication. It's not something that you want around the kids. Uh, let's be responsible with this. Don't, you know, uh, it, it's just like any other medication. Be responsible with it. Educate your children. Talk to them. Don't hide it from them. Don't tell them, oh, no, 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 no. Talk to them. They're going to ask questions. Answer their questions honestly. Don't BS them. Because that, 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 that's how you end up with junkies in the, in, in the family and stuff. Because they go find out for themselves. Oh, mom lied to me about marijuana. What else are they lying to me about? Let me do heroin. See if that's okay. Uh, and you think I'm kidding. You think I'm kidding. That, hey, 
that's what people were saying when when I was like in the eighth grade, ninth grade, and uh, the police would come around and they'd they, they'd put the marijuana in the tea strainer and then light it up, man. And as they'd bring it by for you to smell it, all of us were going, "Oh, that smells good!" You know, and, uh, we'd get a little, yeah. But uh, 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 they told us that that was going to make us do heroin the next day. That that was going to do all these bad things. And it, it, again, it was part of the propaganda game. It was part of uh, uh, what my parents' generation did. They were trying to protect us. They were, you know, they, they thought they were doing something right because they had been given information that was a propaganda game, basically is what happened. So uh, uh, um, it, it's one of those things, be responsible with it. Don't, don't go out there. Don't, if you're using marijuana, don't drive. Don't, don't be driving around. Don't, don't fall asleep at a stoplight. You know, come on, be real. It's no different than alcohol or, or any other kind of medication. You're not supposed to take them and drive. You're just not supposed to do it. So uh, uh, if you like what you hear, folks, give us a thumb up. If you got something for Cannabis Corner, Cannabis Corner, let me know. We'll put it up there. Uh, uh, we get information from down under New Zealand. It don't matter. Uh, uh, moms across America, uh, uh, check with them. See, they got the petitions going on. We'll get all that stuff in in the description, folks. If, if you like what you hear, like I said, give us a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. That's what it's all about. I'm almost at 100. That's going to be cool here. Uh, uh, and if you can help, hit the website. Give us a donation. Uh, uh, it is that time of year. Things are tight. And uh, uh, we're, we're, we're getting by, but it all helps. It all helps. Ladies and gentlemen. Until next time, let's have a great day. And let's all be safe out there. Oh, 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 oh. Tomorrow, I'm going to do Preservation Thursday a little early this week. Uh, well, maybe not. I, I got a couple things going on. But Preservation Thursday is still going to be up. Uh, I know it's a holiday weekend. We'll make it fun. We'll make it fun. Got some good stuff for Preservation Thursday this week. So tune in. Tune in. Uh, uh, we may have a special report going on with GMO stuff. Uh, uh, got, got so much information coming on. So much information coming on. Let's say goodbye. Say hello. Hey, hey, number 17, week number 17 on the show. No guest has done that, ladies and gentlemen. It's Wilcox Organic. Wilcox Organic. Hard, bold eggs. That's right. That's right. 12 grams. What does that say? 12 grams of what? Protein. 12 grams of protein per pack. 12 grams of protein per pack. Wilcox Organic. Wilcox Organic. Hi, we got the California Ranch Farm. California Ranch Fresh brand. California Ranch Fresh brand. Make and take eggs from other states. That's packaging. Food labeling, ladies and gentlemen. Whom do your elected officials represent? If you like what you hear, give us a thumbs up. If you can donate, hit the website. Subscribe to the station. That's what it's all about. Let's have a great day. Let's all be safe out there.